What is the benefit of free day in dieting? Counting the free day or the so-called cheat day is common in some diets, and some people may need it during a weight loss plan, including people who follow diets for long periods, and the foods consumed during this day often include those foods that do not it is usually allowed in the diet, and among the benefits of this day. Increased hunger hormone eating cheat meals may lead to measurable changes in body composition and improved metabolism. Due to fluctuations in the hunger hormone called leptin, the hormone responsible for inhibiting hunger, as some research indicates that severe weight loss may lead due to the decrease in the hormone leptin. So using a cheat meal to lose weight in some intermittent periods through high-calorie foods may deceive the leptin cycle, leading to the production of more of the hormone temporarily and preventing the desire to overeat. Motivate the body to stick to the diet This happens by allowing oneself to enjoy the foods that are not permitted in the diet, and then they may be motivated to stick to the planned diet most of the time and some people may be able to effectively resist the temptation of food upon learning of the advent of the cheat day. But no all people's eating behaviors can be regulated in the same way, and in addition, cheat meals or cheat days should be organized appropriately. Tips for a free day in dieting A free day can be used if used wisely as cheat meals can encourage continuity and achieve the goal of following a diet, and there are some tips for being able to eat a great cheat meal. Eat until you feel satisfied, not until the stomach is full. Not eating when feeling hungry. Share your favorite cheat meal with a best friend. Sit at a table to eat. It is best to have one cheat meal, not a free day. The dangers of the free day in dieting Repeating the free day in the diet can affect the body weight. Although it has been proven that cheat days are a useful way to avoid binge eating, frequent meals or cheat days too often can lead to not benefiting from the established diet and to achieve the desired goal. So cheat meals must be planned, and the 80-20th rule is often recommended, and this rule means that 80% of the meals eaten must be healthy, and you must fully adhere to the diet, while the other 20% gives the flexibility necessary to satisfy the desire to eat thanks for watching.